All right, good afternoon. For those of you in East Coast, for those of you in West Coast, I should say good morning still. Welcome to another edition of Ford ICB. I'm John Bartos, and I am happy to be with you here today because we're going to talk about the talent game today. We're going to talk about why your clients should be using you more than any other time in history right now because some of the decisions that are made in hiring. Uh, if you haven't heard of me before, I'm John Bartes, and I actually run an office in Mason, Ohio, by the name of Jonathan Scott International. And you know what? It's real exciting because here's what. We're going through a recession right now. That's right. And many of you, many of you are experiencing the same thing where you're hearing those objections. Um, we are not hiring right now. We're not using recruiters. We're on a hiring freeze. We're laying people off. We thought we'd call you, John, because we're laying people off. Maybe you can help them find some work. Well, I'm telling you right now, is the most important time in, in recruiting history for you to help your clients out right now. And what I want to share with you today is this. I want to talk a little about, a little about the talent game and talent differentiation. And the reason I want to do that is because you need to understand talent the way it is and how to help clients make the right decisions with talent, specifically now when all the people are unemployed. Um, there's three people I'm going to talk about today. Uh, one person I'm going to talk about is Jack Welch. Do you guys remember Jack Welch, president of GE, president, chairman of the board of GE? He's the one who took GE from a company and grew him and grew him and grew him. Pro probably one of the most prolific um, CEOs through the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Jack Welch wrote a book. Uh, actually, I have it right here. I'm going to bring it up for you. The book is called Straight from the Gut, Jack Welch, Straight from the Gut. And in here, it's pretty important to the recruiting industry because in here, in one of the chapters called The People Factory, he talks about the talent game and what he did to coin talent back in the 70s and 80s. And who was working with him during that time, during the 70s, was a young PhD student from University of Chicago. Guess who? That's right, Dr. Brad Smart was working with Jack Welch specifically on how to figure out differentiate talent. And what they concluded from Jack Welch's perspective, and you'll read it in Jack Welch straight from the gut, is that A players are the top 20% in an organization. Those are your innovators. Those are your doers. They produce so much more than a B or C player. Those are the people you've got to hug and kiss and love, and you've got to hire as many as you can because those are the people who really take the company forward. And what Jack Welch also said is, besides the top 20%, the next 70% were the vital 70%. And if you look at his bell-shaped curve he's got, I forget the page number that it's on, but that vital 70 is very, very important to an organization because that, those are the people who actually do most of the work. So you, you've got to make sure that they're good and they're continually going towards an A player in terms of their development. You're saying now, John, why are you sharing this with you? What we're going to talk about today is talent differentiation and how you can become a trusted advisor for your clients to make sure they're making the right decisions specifically now in this environment where it's so difficult to make a tough decision, specifically if they say, Fred, I love you, but we're not using recruiters right now. I know we're all hearing that. I'm hearing the same thing. So what we need to do is learn the talent game, learn talent differentiation. So what happened was Jack Welch said the top 20% is A players, seven, the next 70% is B players, which are vital, we kind of want to get them improved to help them going towards an A player, but the bottom 10% are C players, and what happens to them? Well, Jack Welch was famous for laying people off, wasn't he? So what happened was the market was bad, G, uh, GE did, had a had bad quarter, he locked 4,000 people off, the stock market rewarded him with an increased stock. Well, he was the one who really started the formulation of formal talent differentiation, if you will. Now, we talked about Brad Smart, who was working with him. Brad Smart, by the way, wrote the book, Top Grading, and it's another one that needs to be in your library portfolio, believe it or not. And what Brad did was not only did he coin talent in terms of what an A player is, B player, C player, which is different, by the way, than what Jack Welch did, but what he also did is looked at the cost of a mishire, and here's what he came up with. By the way, for those of you who don't want to read that 400, 500-page book, here's the Cliff Notes version by Pritchett. You can buy this and read it before you go to bed in 15 minutes. But basically, it says the same thing. Brad Smart said an A player is the top 10%. They're the top 10% in a given specific field and a given specific salary range, okay? And the 10% are the people who want more and more of in an organization because those are the ones who produce up to 8 to 10 times more of a B player. And all this is based, based on research. Right? So Brad Smart 
Dr. Brad Smart, author of Top Grading, says A players are the top 10%, B players are the next 25% that make up the top 35%, but then he says C, C players are the bottom 65%. So a little bit of a difference in definition for talent uh, that Jack Welch had that Brad Smart has. But here's the bottom line. Once they take a look at it, and Brad has some good research here, that a mishire in an organization can cost as much as 18 to 24 times your salary. Now, I'm going to read some quotes for you here, and you may want to write these down because these are real important. Peter Drucker. Who's Peter Drucker, you say? Peter Drucker is a father of modern management, wrote 15, 20 books on management. He is the father of management in the United States and how businesses is ran. One of his famous quotes from Peter Drucker is this. Chances are good that 66% of your company's hiring decisions will prove to be mistakes in the first 12 months. Ladies and gentlemen, that's two out of three, 66%. Brad Smart says that 50% of all hiring going on in the U.S. today, 50%, that's one out of two, 50% are mishires and mistakes. Well, I want to commit to you and, and confess to you that I think the biggest problem in the United States today is not taxation, which is a big issue, folks, and I'm with you there, believe me. But the biggest problem is mishires. If we've got two out of three or even one out of two people that are put on board to any major organization or any organization today, including nonprofits, are mishires, and the cost of that mishire, which is statistically shown to be 18 to 24 times, that's a major problem, would you agree? I mean, that's the biggest costliest problem that there is. But you know what? Who's in the talent game? We are. We dominate the talent game. The professional executive search consultants like you and I are out there to help our clients make those right decisions. But let's talk about the economy right now for, and, and, and how, how, how they, why they use this more than any time before right now. And here's where the rubber meets the road. And here's where you need specifically to take a look at what you need to share with your clients. Does a company today, when they're going through layoffs and rifts, let go of their top 10%? I would argue that I've never seen that happen. In my 1,300 people that I've personally placed over 10 years, I've never seen them once lay off an A player. Top 10%. Now, I've seen B players and C players. I've seen a lot of layoffs of C players because when these risks go on, what happens? They let go of their bottom 10%, 20%, maybe as high as 25%, people that they don't need. So here's what's going on. It's a tough economy out there. They're seeing a lot of tough times when it comes to quarterly reports. They're not hitting their numbers, they're showing shortfalls, they're showing losses. So they stop the recruiting budget. Say, so you can't use recurse HR because you guess what? They cost us money. So what do they do? Your HR professionals that work for your clients, how do they find their talent? Well, what do they do? They go and they post uh, ads on monster.com, career builder, ladders, USA jobs, job banks, all that kind of stuff. That's what they do. Well, who's looking for a job today? Well, with all the layoffs going on, and as we know, months of, the month of March was the worst month in terms of layoffs, almost a million people since 1927. But if no A players were laid off, how are they going to find A players? Well, here's the answer. They post an ad on Monster.com or any of the wonderful job boards that they be sponsoring for place. But they may post an ad on those. But here's what's going on. All that are applying to these jobs are B players and C players, and more C players than B players because they're getting laid off. So here comes a hiring decision. I've got 10 people I'm looking at from an ad I just posted. All of them are B and C players. Do I know that as an HR professional? I kind of do, but I don't want to admit it. Well, I'm going to make a decision then based on the best or the worst talent that's out there. Now, fast forward to us. We come in. What do we do? Well, since we're in the marketplace every sing single day is an executive search consultant, we work with the A players, the people who are hitting job boards, job boards. Why are they hidden? Because they're gainfully employed, kicking butt, taking names for one of your competitors. They're not looking at job boards, they're not interested in making, uh, changing jobs. They're doing very, very well with your competitors. So they're not looking for jobs right now. And Mr. Hiring Manager, I, I tell you what, the reason why you want to work with me, opposed to posting jobs, and sifting through a bunch of average talent, you want to work with me because I'm talking to the A players every single day. And let me ask you this, Mrs. or Mr. Hiring Manager, when you did your last layoff in December or 